Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to check out Formic Field Array. Now let us consider this small use case wherein you have a number of inputs that you need to add when pressing the input button and when you click this X button you need to remove that one input and then when you submit you need to get the values of all the inputs. So basically this is what I mean. So when I add I need to add inputs and if I want to remove this one, I just want to press this X, it just removes the input and when I click submit, I get all these values, right? So now to do this by yourself is going to be a big headache, but if you go to some sort of form libraries like Formic, it's going to make your life much simpler and we're going to do that right now. So to implement this, I'm going to basically remove what I did earlier so that I can explain it to you guys. So what I have now is I just imported formic, field array and field from formic and gave initial value on the on submit. One small change is that for the initial values you need an array because we need we are basically mapping an array of items. Now I've made more videos on formic, so do check that out if you're interested. Now back to this video. Let's get started. First, Formic is going to give us its props. I'm going to just I'm just going to name it Formic props, and I'm just going to have a form. This again is covered in the previous video that I made on Formic. I'll leave a link in the description below. And the same thing on submit will be added to handle submit. From Formic so that when I click the submit button we just get this console log it's so this form is basically connected to this on submit of Formic right now what I will do is I'm going to call the field array field array and this field array is basically what we imported over here and to connect this field array with this options it's the exactly the same thing what we do for the field it's going to have name equals options so now this field array is basically connected to this options that we have in the initial value now next step is I'm going to have a button that basically adds an object so the number of objects that we have in the array will be equal to the number of inputs that we have so basically we're just mapping the inputs against the objects this will be much more clear after we implement this feature now, similarly, field array also gives its own set of props. Field array props, we can have any name we want to. And I'm just going to wrap this in a fragment. Now, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a button, right, that basically adds a new object in our array. I'm just gonna call this add input. Now I'm just gonna give the type equals button and then on click. Now this is where the magic happens. So I'm just going to call the push function from formic props and I'm gonna push name as empty. So basically this thing adds a new object in this array. So basically by default we have one input and when we click the button it just pushes this over here. So we have two inputs and uh, as we click more inputs and so on. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to map. We're going to map this against inputs. How we do that is by accessing this data from formic props. Dot values. Dot options. It's this options. Dot map. I'm just going to name this option. Come on, I need the index as well. You will know why. Right now, after we map, I'm just going to have a field, the formic field. Right now, I'm going to connect this field 
to the single object now how we do that is by this step name equals it's going to be this string so options dot we need to add the index basically the index of what object that we're accessing and we get that index over here that's why we needed the index we're going to add it like this dot name Name. So basically you're accessing the name for the index that it's mapped on Now I'm going to add my input I'm going to give it a placeholder Add name Now I'm going to like bind the input with the field by Destructuring field props which I did on I don't have I missed the steps. I'm sorry that is just a simple step. So, feel the props small the input. All right. Dot field props dot field the right. Now we basically connected the field input to the field and what, now what should happen is when I click the input button it adds a new input so basically when I click this we are pushing a new object over here and because we're mapping that we are getting the input field now what I want is I want to remove the input to, to do that what I'm gonna do is simply now before that I want the I want to like have the button first and then I need the input so for that I'm just gonna have it div around the button because there was a blocking element div slash div. I need to type slower right and similarly I'm going to have uh, a div over here as well so that I get my inputs in consecutive lines just like this yes now now the next step is I need a button over here that will basically remove the input so to do that is basically the reverse of what we're doing over here so for that I'm just going to have a button I'm going to call this remove oh no I'm just going to have this X and just gonna have type equals button and on click what we did over there is we call the push function here we'll call the remove function from formic props so just field array props dot remove and all I need to do is passing the index for what I want to remove Right, so so now if I click this, it removes that. So if I add two three, and if I click this one, it basically removes the index, and and it removes the value from here. And because we have mapped it, uh, re uh connected to this options from the state, it be the input removes. I hope this all makes sense. Uh, so we actually are almost done. All we need is a submit button so that we get the values. Now for this, I'm going to go outside the field array and I'm going to have a button. I'm just going to call this button. I'm just going to call this submit. Now all I need to do is put type equals submit. That's it. So if you add type equals submit, uh, this will automatically be combined with this form over here and since we ha have added uh, the handle submit from formic props to this form it's all done guys it's all done so now I can add anything I want to and if I click submit we get the values we get all the values and if I click this it basically removes the object in the array and we the value also has been removed I can add how many other inputs I want to I can I get the values and I can remove how many ever inputs I wanted. So that's it guys. Uh, so this is how simple it is to have this kind of array elements in your field.
in your farm, sorry. So uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, like, subscribe. Thanks, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.